in this video we're going to solve three problems with the Canon EOS webcam utility not working properly. Problem number one, your camera is not recognized at all. Problem number two, your video is laggy and freezes. And problem number three, you get a black screen. Your Canon camera is an excellent webcam and by the end of this video, we're going to have it working perfectly. Whether you're using it for OBS Studio, for Zoom, for Teams or any other application that uses a webcam. You can jump between the different solutions with the chapters in the timeline below the video. Make sure that you're properly set up and that means you install the EOS webcam utility from Canon, then you reboot your machine and afterwards you connect your Canon camera with a USB cable. I use the Canon M50 and the best cable for my camera is a reversible micro B USB cable. The reversible USB connector means that there is no up and down and you don't have to spend any time figuring out which way to insert the cable. If you need to download the software or get a cable, use the links below this video. The links I have are to USB cables that have this reversible USB micro B connector. Problem number one is that you're not getting any video at all. Instead, you only see this EOS webcam utility logo on your computer and on the LCD screen on the camera, there's just this computer icon. So it means that it is connected, but it's not being accessed by any webcam software. This usually means that you have the EOS utility running and the EOS utility is the program that you use for transferring photos and videos from your camera. It's different from the EOS webcam utility which is the driver that we're using to allow us to use the Canon camera as a webcam. The solution is simple. Just quit the EOS utility in your system. In my case, I go down to the taskbar on the bottom right hand corner of my screen. I right click the EOS utility and then I click quit. And as soon as I click quit on the EOS utility, the webcam software activates and I get a perfect video signal. One thing to note about the EOS utility is that the default setup is that it starts automatically when your system starts. So after every reboot, I actually have to quit it in order to use the EOS webcam utility correctly. Problem number two is that the video keeps freezing and lagging and pausing every few seconds. And the easiest solution I found to this problem is to simply open up the LCD screen on the back of my Canon M50. I'm going to reach over to the camera right now and open up the screen and you will see that the video will be much smoother. There we go. I'm opening the screen and you will immediately see that all of those lags, all of those freezes and all of those pauses are gone just because I opened up the LCD screen. Problem number three is that you get a black screen on your computer, but it looks on the camera like everything is working. All the indicators are there on the LCD screen. And this means that you've forgotten to remove your lens cap. There we go, lens cap removed. And I'm not even kidding about this. On my checklist for live streaming and video conferencing, I have an item called remove lens cap because this is how often I forget to remove it. Hit the like button if this was valuable to you and let me know in the comments which solution worked for you. If you want to learn how to live stream with the Canon M50, click or tap the screen right here for my full walkthrough on how you can start live streaming, including to multiple platforms with your Canon M50 using this USB cable. For more communication tips, please subscribe.